Hi everyone, I've been asked how I choose uh, some of the pages to go with um, some of the journals I make and how I mix in design pages with the book pages that I use. So I thought I'd go through some of the books that I use and where I get them from and uh, I'll untie these and we'll make a start. Okay, well I, I tend to do my journals in themes. Uh, that's not to say I don't do sort of random page journals because I, I have done, but I mainly I do themes. So um, my next journal is going to be with the Atlas Botanical um, designed kit. So I'm looking for not not birds, um, but mainly flowers, nature themes. So I'll just run through these books. Uh, I've got this one out now, so I'll we'll look at it. But um, most of these books I've had on my bookshelf for years and years. When my daughter was growing up, we bought little books just to... Um, amuse her and uh, educate her so but what I always tend to do so you can see it's a little bit torn I look them up um, just in case they are have become rare or you know expensive because I wouldn't want to take pages out you know and, and ruin a very expensive book I suppose though eventually all books will become rare, maybe. So you've got to be happy to your, you know, happy to let it go that um, it's going to be useful. Look at those pictures, they're beautiful. And uh, before you dive in, but that one, yeah, I'm very happy to use that one. This one, we've got many wildflower books. Um, when we go sort of walking, we tend to take a wildflower book out and uh, try and remember the names. But this one is particularly lovely. It's got lovely big um, illustrations. And that would go, that would make a lovely pocket. And then you can also use the um, written words and either paint over them or um, draw on them or just fold them into pockets. Look at that, it's beautiful. My fritillary in the garden have been lovely this year and the bluebells. So those, that one is particularly, and I say that this one was on my shelf so you can see I've already cut bits out of it. Um, another one of my daughter's books, um, she's got many nature books but um, this one's lovely with all the butterflies. So they're not expensive books, um, I've seen lots of these in the charity shops. This one is an old diary of my daughters. Um, she's written on some pages but not all of them and so um, but it was quite quite a nice diary so I, I've been using the um, words in here and uh, the little illustrations which are mostly nature themed from black and white and beautiful. Beautiful for a relatively cheap diary, I think this was. So that's not going to go to waste. Um, let me just move these out of the way a minute. So some of the books I purchased from charity shops. Again, I would be careful. Um, some of the charity shops don't check their books and again I would hate to 
And this one was about two pound, I think, two forty nine from Oxfam. I think Oxfam check all their books. Um, I would hate to use a book that's, you know, the charity could have got a lot more money for. So it's worth just checking up. Some some books because they're popular with um, scrapbooking and uh, junk journalists, they um, hyperinflate the prices online. So you know you can't always go with what you see online. But these are beautiful pictures when I do my bird junk journal. Awesome. So that's that's a lovely one. Right, I'll just get a few more in. And then I've um, also got an old dictionary. Got loads of those on the shelf. This is just a you know one of my daughters. And uh, it's just useful to tear little pieces out, go on tags or um, belly bands or just on the pages and ink them up. You see I've done already. Um, just be careful that the words that you use are appropriate. Um, don't want to offend anyone or, you know, so that's quite a nicely aged dictionary. So I'll look through that for some um, words to go on tags. It's nice to continue to use these books. I mean, it's going to be sat on the shelf or go for recycling because I don't think anyone would buy this. Only drunk journalists, and um, because they become out of date, don't they? And so it's nice to give it an, another purpose and embellish your tags with it so that um, it's repurposed and gives it another life. So I don't worry about using things like this. But as I say, it's w just worth checking your books and um, before you start vandalising them. <laughs> Right, um, again, some of these books were just on my bookcase. This was an, an old book of mine just for jotting um, music notes down on, so that's going to be useful. So it's always worth just checking your, your bookcase. I don't know where I got this from, but I thought it might be useful. This is an old first aid book. They've got beautiful pictures in here. Actually, I must check this one um, before I use it, but as I say, I've had it years. Lovely old. I'm sure the first aid isn't um, up to date, <laughs> so it wouldn't be useful as a first aid book, but beautiful pictures. So that won't be useful. And then I have some art magazines that I've had. Um, this is mainly academic, so you know you could use the um, writing page and paint over them. And uh, so that some of the children's books again are useful. This is an art book, and I've had a few of these because. Um, Say so my daughter at school used to use them to um, work from and cut out bits and pieces. So that's that's going to be useful for my art journal. Now this is an old atlas. We've got lots of atlases on the bookshelf, so I've just picked this one. Uh, so they're always very useful. I love looking at maps, though. The vastness of the world is just so amazing. How beautiful the sort of illustrations and uh, yes, the trouble is you start sort of thumbing through things and then you don't get on with your the job in hand. 
it's in another nature book that um, I picked up from charity shop. Again, I think first editions are um, quite expensive of this book, but this was um, three ninety nine. Um, I haven't used this book yet because I do love it so much, and uh, I would find it hard to cut up. <laughs> so um, I use it for inspiration to do my own drawings, and my daughter uses it to do her. Um, illustrations and things along with photographs she's taken so I'll have to think about this one before I I use it another one I use is um, this old encyclopedia of my daughter's again I think it's an 80 86 I oh know, 87 copy or something like that. Um, but they're very easy to find in charity shops and um, online. And I just find it useful to use some reference to what my theme is in my junk journals. And again, you can make pockets out of them. Um, just some of the illustrations are very nice. Sometimes I use pages to practice my pockets and uh, envelopes, and but I tend to use newspaper for that. Okay, and then um, again the um, old music books. We had a few of these, um, and again, it's worth just checking that they're not rare ones. But uh, this one isn't, so I use those because they they do add a nice element to the junk journal. Okay, well I hope that's been useful for you. And uh, I'm going to get on with my um, Atlas Botanical book now. And uh, I'm just going to go through the books that I want to use and see which pages I can use to uh, fill it out. I also use just some plain colour pages to go with the theme. So I'm going to get on with that and then I'll be back to show you the stages of how I'm getting on. Bye for now.